Now, we've taught a little bit about uh, Canva. Uh, we've mentioned Canva before. So we will recommend using Canva to create your cover. And so and to be honest, let's just go ahead and do it. I mean, because we don't have a professional graphic art for this one. So I'm just gonna demo the process right now. So I'm gonna log into Canva. Um, I've already logged into my account, but you'll need, to, you'll need to log into your account or create one if you haven't created one. There's a link in the course, at the um, in the resources section of this course. You can find a link to Canva if you need that information. And then I'm gonna click on the more icon up here when it says uh, create a design. But we're going to find the Facebook cover and it's gonna be down a little way. So if we go to social media, and email headers. This is a set. This is the section we're going to be looking in, and we're going to look for Facebook cover, which is on the right side of the screen here. And it's already pre-sized and everything, so you don't have to worry about whether or not it's going to, you know, the text is going to get cut off or anything like that. You're already taken care of, and you have some templates here that are already mostly designed for you. So I'm just going to show you how you can you can either pick a template. So you can just click on this. You can also uh, just change the text by clicking in there, or you can uh, switch out the background photo by just highlighting the photo, pressing the delete button, and then putting in a new photo. But I actually want to do one from scratch, and I just want to show you how you can kind of do that. So you can also create your own Facebook cover page. And so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this one here for now. And I'm going to come into Uploads, and you can upload your own photos in this section by just clicking on the Upload Your Own Images, looking through your file folders, and selecting what you want to select. Now, I've already selected a couple images that I want to use, and I'm going to show you how you can use these. So I would just pick the ones I want to use, and I want to use the Snapchat cell phone with a transparent background. I want to use this uh, Snapchat photo with the text on screen. Just kind of resize that. And then I also want to add a quick background. So I can click on this backgrounds icon right above it. We'll put in like a light blue color. Oh, that's nice. Looks good, right? Yeah, so it's pretty it's good. coming and together. Then, uh, we'll go to text and I'll just go click on the uh, top section here, add a heading. Kind of move this heading just around here. And then we can just type in like mastery course. And then maybe if you want to change the font, yeah. you can just drag up here I on top. I think that's going to be a little aerial action there. This will be like something along yeah, this Yeah, there you here. go. There we go, right? It's coming, Snap. coming a little together. Chat. And maybe go a little bigger with that. Let's try like a 64 even. Ooh, no, look at that. Is that too big? Yeah. Or not a fit. We'll drag that up. Yeah. yeah kind yeah, of. Yeah, it might be a little, a little big. Slower. A little lower. A little lower in yeah, size. There you go. There. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. So and you then, see, look at that. We've only we we've been he's been at it just for about you know a minute and a half or so, and we've already got this. Now we're going to show you a quick little tidbit. If you download your um, uh, image like you just did, you want to name the image with the the data that's going to be part of your overall course. Now there's ways to do actual what's called metadata, which is information that's in the picture itself. But with this, we're just going to name this. Uh, particular thing, uh, the Snapchat Mastery Course. You can put in some other keywords too. This does become search engine uh, optimized. So he's putting in, if you notice, Snapchat Mastery Course. So you want to do that so if anybody searches this stuff, it uh, comes up in a search engine. So now when we come back to Facebook, we're gonna, all we gotta do is click on the Add Cover button up here. I'm gonna click on Add Cover and now I'm gonna upload my photo. And voila, there's the new Snapchat logo that I created. Look at that. A and look perfect at that. Fit. It fits. And then right here, he's going to add another picture. Well, I'm going to click Save first. Okay. Uh, and if I wanted to, I could reposition this. I don't really want to. I think it looks good. No, it's perfectly fit. But I would just click here to reposition it. Um, and I'm going to click Save. So now the background or the cover photo is set. Uh, the next photo would be the picture. So we can do a, a, a Facebook cover photo. Uh, for this one, I usually just use the social media sizing on Canva. So if I needed to do a photo, they don't have a they don't have a Facebook um, personal photo size, but I usually just go to the very top here and click on the social media size. That's a, a square image, so it usually tends to work out. Um, for this, I could just again I can I can come over here. I can either pick from the templates, or if I want to use a a photo um, already created, I might just uh, make it auto fit into the frame. So I'll, I'll drag over a grid, which will then make my photo fit into the frame. And then I could pick a photo 
Um, let's see if I can find one. We'll use Andros's photo for uh, no, Snapchat. No, oh, So man. there we go. We'll just drag Andros's photo Again? there. Again? <laughs> and if I, if I didn't like the way that it came in on the frame here, all I have to do is click on the crop button, and then I can kind of move it around. Actually, it looks like it auto, It looks like it fit perfectly. Yeah, so there's how actually great. not a lot of room to drag it around. So all I got to do now, just download this picture, click download, come back to Facebook. It should be, well, we'll actually rename this photo. We'll rename it Audros Sturgeon Snapchat Mastery Course. So we'll I don't know if I want here. my name on this. Oh, you, you love it. It's going to be awesome. You're going to be famous, man. I'm already famous. <laughs> just people don't know it yet. Andro Sturgeon, Snapchat Mastery Course. And this is again for uh, SEO purposes. That's right. And now that I've renamed the file, I will come back to Facebook and we will upload that photograph. So I click on Upload Photo here. And we'll take Andros's photo, put it in. I can reposition. Now here might want to reposition a little bit, but we just kind of want to give it a, a central vibe. Maybe get all of his hair in there or none of it. But we'll give him all of it right here, and I'll click on the save button. Um, we can mess with the zoom if I wanted to. You can to. also edit the photo. Actually, if I zoom out, it'll make it a better fit. So I'll just zoom out and use the entire photo here. Okay. We'll click on save, and we have a profile photo and a cover photo. In just three, two, <laughs> and one. There we go. So, you know, obviously you probably don't want to use my photo when you do your page. You probably want to use your logo. Just saying. It's probably a good idea. Yeah, <clears throat> don't use my photo. But you see how simple this is. We've already created a profile photo and a cover photo in just about five to ten minutes here. And, I, and I've been narrating the entire time. So it's a, it's a much easier process than even this.